Now up till now we have we have drawn a triangle and in that we have drawn a three circles touching one side and other two circles. Now we'll draw a triangle and in that we'll draw three three, uh, three equal circles touching two sides. Like uh, see first sum was this way. It was touching one side and other two circles. Now I want you to draw three circles touching two sides. So now in this case what we have to do, we have to follow the same way. First we will draw a triangle. Now in this case what we have done, we have divided triangles into triangle into three part. Now we will bisect angle OMB. So instead of bisection we can take 45 as well because it's a perpendicular thing. So what we will do, we will take from M we will take 45 degree. Wherever it will intersect, that is point 1. We draw a vertical line, that is point N. We we'll take 1 to N. And we will draw a circle. Then, same method, we take O to 1. We'll take the same radius. This is 2, this is 3, is quite an error so what we can do we can do this again what you have seen just now is an error done by me it's a mistake there is nothing wrong with my method or my understanding of the sum and all but it's only at that point of time my attention or my concentration level matters so when you're doing geometry you have to pay more attention or you have to be more focused than what you are you know generally and uh, remember one thing, whenever, you're, whenever you are doing a geometry, it's like your fresh attempt. You can't take it for granted, you know, like uh, any other, like, uh, let's say you have done it once and you got it right. So you can't take second attempt as a granted attempt that you will get it this time also. There is no guarantee. It's only a matter of practice. Only thing you have to do it again, maybe uh, two times, three times, but you will get it right. And, and it's a human error. There is no big deal about it. And I'm sure if you repeat the same sum with more focus and concentration, you will get it right. Now what we have done up till now is uh, we have drawn a triangle in that we have drawn uh, three circles inside a triangle touching two sides and other two circles. Now we have to do the same thing in a square. We have to draw a square and we have to draw four circles inside it touching two sides and two other circles. We'll take a square of side 100 millimeter
now same method now we have divided square into four parts like o a b triangle o a b triangle o b c triangle o c d and o d a so we have divided into four parts now this is point m now what i have to do again i have to take 45 degree wherever it will intersect that is point 1 this is point n you take 1 to n draw a circle you take 4 to 1 now again you take the same radius from here you can draw under the circle you can draw the fourth one So we got a square, inside square we got four circles touching two sides and two other circles. Now we can do the same thing in pentagon also. First we will take a side 80 mm. Now see for pentagon we have various methods. Like first what we have seen was a general method, and then we have seen 72 degree method. Now I will show you 54 degree method. In 54 degree method, what you have to do, you have to take an angle 54 from A and from B also, you take an angle 54. Extend wherever they intersect, that is point O. Now you take O to A. You draw a circle. You take radius equals to AB cut on right hand side left hand side hmm. so we got pentagon again we we'll join all the corners with the center let's say C D E now from point M we will take 45 degree wherever it will cut that is point 1 we'll draw circle 1 we we'll take O to 1 okay. we will draw 6 equal circles touching 2 sides and 2 other circles again we draw side 80 mm we will take that side as radius and we will cut from both the ends wherever they meet from that point again we we'll draw a circle side cut on right hand side as well as left hand side and this again we will draw Diagonals. After that, draw a vertical line wherever it will intersect. From there, I'll draw 45 degree. 